This is not about you. All of us have made sacrifices to be here. We've been dealing with this stuff for years and we're still here. Okay, so I saw Grizzlies and I loved it. Yay. I loved it. It's a feel good <laughs> film, even though it has a, a tragic beginning point. And please tell me why this epidemic of, of teen suicide up in the north. Uh, well, that's kind of like a really heavy, <laughs> hard, <laughs> hard to answer. Actually, no, I can't answer in, in a word. It's colonialism. Um, you know, suicide wasn't a common thing at all in our communities before um, settlers came along and um, kind of took control out of people's hands and made a lot of decisions that were, you know, maybe sometimes good intentions, but as we know, <laughs> The road to hell's paved with good intentions. So um, you know, there there was a lot of damage that came along over the last hundred years. So a, a generational damage of being hurt and abused and, mm -hmm. and disrespected. I see that. So uh, this lacrosse story is is true, right? It happened. A teacher went up there, got everyone together as best he could to to play lacrosse, and it gave the community new meaning, new feeling. Honestly, I'd heard about that. But to see it and to see the kids change and, and want to participate and trust it, you know, it was wonderful. How did the story come to your attention? I first heard about uh, the town of Kugluktuk and the kids there through an ESPN news piece um, that was sent to me. And I was deeply moved by it, just uh, getting a sense of the trauma of the kids and the community and hearing about the high suicide rate in the town um, and I was amazed that these kids despite their challenges were so full of hope and joy and had really built a community and a team through sport and so um, I just I think for all of us in the world uh, who face struggles to look at a community that was was dealing with extreme struggles and were able to find hope and joy um, was really inspirational and I thought was a story worth bringing to the world. Yeah, a feel-good story, mm -hmm. despite the, the what set it off. Um, you know, and you have actors of all levels of experience. You've got Boo Boo Stewart, who's mm -hmm. got a long resume. You've got Paul, uh, who's got a few, and Emerald, who has virtually nothing. So what was that Absolutely like nothing. <laughs> this okay. was her very first film. <laughs> How exciting, my goodness. Yeah. The cast is amazing, and we did a huge search all over the Arctic Circle. We auditioned over 600 kids in 25 communities. We brought 60 to the Eastern Arctic and trained them in acting and improv and uh, found our cast, and they're How extraordinary. Exciting. And I think, you know, our, our, our professional leading experienced actors, um, Ben Schnetzer and Will Sasso, yeah. in the early days of shooting, kept coming to me saying, we got to up our A-game because these kids are so authentic and so real. We're going to look bad if we're not really good. Um, so it was amazing. It was amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all of them have done a fantastic job. You know, and it's great. I just interviewed Tantu. She was just so thrilled. But it's not exactly a good guy in the film. I mean, I understand Well, I think she reasons. also... I think she. it's really important to see the perspective of the other side. Here's right. someone that... Listen, white people in the north had not been had not been doing a good job well, and teachers don't have a great track right. record they right. don't have a great right. track record <laughs> exactly and yeah. i think you know for her to be protective of of her community is important yeah. um yeah, yeah because yeah. you know it, it's um it's interesting because when you have limited resources um and also when you have kids that you don't want to disappoint and let you know uh, get their hopes up and then disappoint them um, it, she's kind of feels like a bad guy in the beginning but I think in the end you know what her, where her heart is yeah. and a lot That's of teachers point. have come up north come and gone come and gone over and over again tried to start sports programs that didn't make the difference that this uh, particular team did and I think a huge factor in that is that um, the real Ross really uh, let go of control over the situation. He let the kids take on and organize for themselves. He helped them learn those skills. And that was a huge, hugely important thing uh, in that program. It wasn't just a sports team. It, it was a community that got together, learned how to organize and really um, 
fight for themselves and that means uh, sometimes as the as the uh, one coming in and starting a pro program like that is knowing when to step back and let other people take the reins yes you're right yeah that's very good plus they allowed a girl on the team there were actually several girls um, but of course in a film you have to yeah. Uh, narrow it's down your main characters, so yeah. So, like so it. the spring character is actually an amalgamation of a, a, few, a few different ladies. Great! I'm so glad to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, ladies, and best of luck with the film. Thank, Thank you. you. It's a total delight. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>